Good morning, sir. Can you tell us your name and spell your last name for the record? Robert Garnas, G-A-R-N-A-S. Thank you. Your witness, Counselor. How are you currently employed? Uh, BNSF Railway. How long have you worked for BNSF Railway? Uh, 14 years. Your current duties? A road foreman and engines and management position. Just describe what that means. Um, I'm responsible for maintaining uh, engineer certification, uh, responding to service interruptions up on the to hatch piece, um, and operations testing. Did you have those same duties in August of 2014? I did. Uh, did you ever work up at the shop in Tehachapi on Good Rip Road or Good Rip Drive? I, I did not. My office is in Bakersfield. Did you ever work in conjunction with those individuals? I did. Uh, how so? Uh, during service interruptions, uh, mechanical issues with locomotives or trains, um, I would go up there and assist or uh, work on a plan to get things moving. So the individuals that worked in the shop in Tehachapi were rapid response. Yeah, rapid responders. They were located up there in a position that would be able to respond to mechanical issues a little bit quicker than us in Bakersfield. And if there was an issue on the way to Tehachapi involving a train, they would come to the train, you would come from Bakersfield. That's correct. You were in charge when you got there, though? Yes. when you met Robert Lamar? He could just give an approximate time frame. Um, I, on the particular day, is that, or just? Just before. Do you know when you first met Robert Lamar? Um, well, I've met him on s several service interruptions prior to. Um, so you had worked with him previously? Yes. Do you recall? Recall, let's start with August 17, 2014, the day he died. Yes. Do you recall how long prior to that date you had worked with him? Uh, I had been in that position for approximately a year as a, in management. Um, so I would worked with him throughout that year on other service calls. Can you give an estimate how often you would work with him? Um, it, it varies. Uh, it could have been maybe 20, 30 times. Did you ever socialize with him out of work? No. Now, in those 20 to 30 times that you worked with him, what was his uh, demeanor? What was he like as an employee? Uh, he was an excellent responder, um, very helpful, always friendly, uh, willing to. Uh, just knowledgeable, knowledgeable, and a great guy to work with. Specifically, August 17, 2014, did you see Robert Lamone that day? I did. Where did you see him at? Uh, we were on a service interruption call uh, that's a station called Cable Crossover. It's just uh, just west of Tehachapi. And do you recall what type of service interruption it was? Uh, there was a mechanical issue with a locomotive. Um, I believe it was dynamic brakes, but mechanical issue. Um, I arrived to the train uh, before Robert did, um, walked through the power and found out what the problem was, met him on the power um, and let him know that it was the train was fixed and it was ready to continue to Bakersfield. Now, August 17, 2014, do you remember what time you just described occurred? Um, just any time during that day? Probably between 4 and 5. Did you speak with Robert about anything beyond? Fixing the locomotive? 
Uh, we talked about the new terminal manager that we had in Bakersfield and how he was like in his new position. He was previously um, a guy that was up on the hill um, a lot, and this uh, individual changed positions and went into Bakersfield. So we were talking about that transition of his, of his new duties. Recall anything else you spoke about? That was, that was How it. long was the conversation? Uh, it was just a few minutes after the train had left. Um, and then I told, well, I did tell Robert that I was going to continue to Bakersfield and do some operations testing on the way back to Bakersfield. Um, and we parted ways. Did you see where Robert drove? I didn't. Now, were you notified of Robert's death that day? I was that evening as I was uh, nearing my house in Bakersfield, I received a phone call and uh, immediately turned around and drove back up towards Tehachapi. Who called you? I believe it was a, a fellow co-worker, another road foreman. You said you returned to Tehachapi? Yes. Goodrick Drive. What did you see? Um, we parked out. I parked outside of the on the street there, and um, I didn't go into the building or or near it. Um, there was uh, police personnel on site when I got there, so I just kind of stood by outside and knew that um, I would probably need to give a statement, being that. I was with working with him prior to the incident. Do you recall which detective you spoke to? I I don't. Do you recall the length of the interview? Uh, just maybe maybe five minutes or five ten minutes. Did you attempt to provide them as much information as you could to assist with the investigation? I did. Do you remember if they inquired whether or not you were aware if Robert had any uh, arguments or issues in or out of work? I, I don't know if that was asked or not. Um, I don't know of any issues that he had. We've never talked about personal life. It was more railroad and service interruption related. As, as it related to the railroad at that time in August 2014, were you aware of any issues that Robert had? No. No. So he always seemed uh, very happy, big smile. Good morning, Mr. Cross. Good morning. Um, now, you indicated that uh, it was approximately sometime between 4 and 5 p.m. that you actually um, interacted on that day with Robert. Is that right? Yeah, it was somewhere around there in, the, in that late evening. Time, I believe. Do you know um, how many times? Well, let me ask you: Was Robert uh, permanently assigned to Hatchby? If you know, um, I I don't think so. No, he was a relief responder, I believe. And that's for when somebody uh, who is it normally works at Hatchby needs a uh, day off. Is that right? Yeah. So yeah. They Days would. off or vacation. Or so someone would uh, volunteer to take their spot to get, say, overtime if they worked at another location. Is that right? Yes. Uh, there was typically a... It, it's normally the same guys that fill those vacancies. In other words, there 
normal guys who would come in and, and work as relief responders for the normal responders assigned to a particular location. Is that right? That's correct. And on uh, how many occasions have you actually been to the NSF uh, warehouse or shop in Tehachapi? Um, when I first got the job, the my co-worker took me up there to show me the responder building. Um, maybe that time and maybe one other time. I didn't ever really spend a bunch of time up there. And uh, did you know what the actual physical address was at that location? No. no. You just knew how to get there? Yeah, pretty, and still. <laughs> still know how to get there, but don't know the address? Yes, exactly. Okay. Have you ever, had you ever met any of Mr. Lamone's uh, family? I had not. Uh, you never met his wife? No. Never met his children? be safe to say that your only real interaction were the, the times that you came into contact with him at work, is that right? That's correct. And you guys never talked about your personal lives? No. no. Thank you. I have no further questions. Schmidt. Sit down, Mr. Garnis. Thank you, sir. 